Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where today we are back with a bang. I am going to be going through the charts for you today, my current trades, my next targets and exactly what you need to be looking for next. Today, boom, back with a bang. I'm really looking forward to this video today. We've got so much great volatility on Bitcoin, so much opportunities to make extreme amounts of profits. I'm going to be sharing it with you today, what I'm looking at next. And uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, I'm very positive, very happy, very much looking forward to what's to come in these markets. And uh, yeah, in this video, of course, I want to share with you the analysis. That's what you're here for, the trades, right? But I also want to try and transmit the feeling that I have right now of this really warm, positive vibe. Uh, and that's what we need. That's what we want. That's what we need to, you know, transmit to everybody around us. So yeah, this is just me on a natural good, good feeling high today. And uh, wow, let's go into this chart. As you can tell, I love trading, right? I love trading. So when I see the charts well respecting my technical analysis, it just, it just makes me happy. I just love, I just love these charts. Marry me, Bitcoin. Let's go into this. <laughs> this is what you're here for, the analysis. So, oh, I'm madre mia. I love this. So, Obviously, yesterday I was doing a video update explaining why I was bullish, why I wanted to see higher prices to come. Of course, that video was released while we were in this section of the chart. I had a very big focus on getting above $25,000. $25,000, my exact target being $25,220. I want to give a very real quick recap of this before we move on to what's happening now and what I'm looking at next over the weekend, potentially even over the next next few months to come. This is a very major pivot for me in the market. Oh, it's going to be a good video. It's going to be a good one. Uh, so yeah, smiles ahead. Let's go. Uh, so yesterday, I want to give you this quick recap of what happened after that video. In the video, I was making it very, you know, much aware I was bullish and looking for higher prices while we were here. Okay. For me, you know, even this is within inside my Discord, where of course the lot more concise and precise within here, right? Because this is, you know, where we got the, the paid mentorship. So Telling my team I remain bullish for $25,000. Why was I reminding people of this? Because at the time, check it yourself, 1540 UK time, we were trading down and around here. Okay, we were seeing a local pullback. Okay, so before this pump happened, we're trading down here. People are getting a little bit bearish. People are wondering, is this the high? People are wondering, is Daniel wrong? And we're not going above $25,000. I go in there with full confidence while we're trading down here and say, hey team, I remain bullish. I'm looking for $25,000. I've got my target on lockdown. It's $25,220, okay? $25,220. That's my target. I'm remaining bullish for this. I'm not going to short early. I'm not going to get into the bearish spirit of I'm going to get front run on my target and I'm going to miss it. No, it's pulling back. I come in here, clear and concise, tag everybody inside of the champions, remain bullish for 25K. We're not going to miss this target, okay? <laughs> Obviously in here. My confidence is high. I know some people are going to be like, brag, 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 brag. But no, this is just full confidence. I love what I do. When I see the analysis, well, I just say this. I let my predictions and charts give you my answer of, of who's the best trading team in the world right now. Wanted above 25K. My target was 25,220 and it ended in a perfect swing failure pattern. So then for myself and many others, we have been waiting, as you can see from Lee here, love you Lee, uh, be waiting 185 days for this short setup, all requires patience, entry from 25,183, another short setup here, thank you for posting your trading levels, short entry from $25,195, Another guy here, we're sending his regards, taking that short from 25,200. Uh, you know, you can see across the board and then also myself getting into these shorts. For me, it was, you can see yesterday morning at 9 a.m. Okay, so this is hours before it was hit. I will look to short if we get a swing failure pattern of 25,220. Once again at 9 a.m. yesterday, I would like to take out the overall highs at 25,220. Then at 4 p.m., 25,220 is my next target. And here we can see, you know, 10 minutes after this, 25,220 target is hit. That for me was the target that I was remaining patient for, along with many others with Inside CC pool. And as we can see here, very good short trade for all those that took it. We wanted to see a swing failure pattern of 25,220. What did we get, ladies and gentlemen? We got a swing failure pattern of 25,220, the exact scenario that I talked through inside of my live stream daily update in the morning, okay? This is what I was looking at. 
We got a little bit of a pullback, take out that 25 to 220 target, swing failure pattern, and then let's get this drop fully underway. Well, we've started to get that drop. Um, obviously, <laughs> very nice, but very nice. But uh, you know, it's it's still not over yet, right? This is just the beginning. So now I want to. Well, actually, I've got, I've got a quick 30 second clip to just also remind you from yesterday's public video exactly what I was saying. This is also something that I'm now going to reflect upon and just give you some even more insight. So this is just a 30 second clip that we're going to review together now of what I said yesterday for free in the public. Okay, so let's just review this very quickly. 30 seconds. In here, I am still bullish. I'm still looking for higher prices to above $25,000. Okay, so we can just simply take out this high, for example. I want to see above 25K. So I want to see above this level. Well, I could be wrong. And from here, we just full on dump and reverse. And then, hey, I missed the top of this move. I didn't short it. And, well, I'll have to look for a retest. I'll have to look for another intraday setup to try and get into a scalp swing trade. Okay, a scalp that turns into a swing. That's what I'd have to do if I'm wrong on this and we do not get above 25K. Uh, I was right. <laughs> Sometimes it's a case we can't win every single trade. We cannot take every single trade, but we can trade our biases. We can have opinions. We can have wants and likes. And then for me, so as you can see from that, what I was saying yesterday, you know, making it very clear, you know, my target's still higher, I'm still bullish. I could be wrong and we dump from here, but I want to see my buyers play out, get above that target, hit the major level that I'm looking at, 25 to 20. And, you know, reflecting upon this now, it's like I said, could have I been wrong yesterday and we just dumped straight down from here? Yes. And if that was the case, I would have openly have said I was wrong. I wanted to see above 25K and I missed my short trade entry. I cannot say I shorted the top because I simply would have missed the trade if I was wrong and we put in the high here. But as we can see, we were correct in that analysis. We got the swing failure pattern. We got the entry. We hit the target and everything went very nice as we got the swing failure pattern and a large move to the downside. Even on a smaller term time frame, let's come down to the 15, well, let's come down to the five minute charts just to show you here. Okay, from taking out that high, look at the retest that we got here of the CC2. So if you missed the original short trade entry, which was from 25 to 20, I was myself very confident and even had preset orders, by the way. But um, yeah, from that, we got a pullback, retest the CC Fibonacci, retest the CC Fibonacci, retest for a final time coming into around 7 p.m. UK time, testing that level for a large drop to the downside. So it's like you can see here, even at four, you know, very good short for all those that took it off the swing failure pattern. You know, that's around 4 p.m. Well, you even had another few hours to, <laughs> to short the CC for a final time at around 7 p.m. Before, before we got that large drop underway, which was following along if you don't know with the stock market, so the stock market was dropping, DXY was rising. And of course, with the stock market dropping, it's bringing Bitcoin down along with it. And, you know, the ES continued to stock market continue to drop overnight. DXY continued to rise. And of course, this is bringing Bitcoin down with it. We now have this really nice potential swing short trade off a of 25K, right? So, yeah, swing failure pattern. OK, off the high. Retest the CC. Stock market's dropping, DXY is rising, well, Bitcoin's dropping down along with it. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're going to start to approach what we're looking at next in the charts. As I mentioned, I'll give you my current trades, current targets, and, you know, really how I'm approaching this at the moment. So uh, what I want to do here is I want to add on a few levels, okay? And we're going to start to zoom in to the more local price action. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what I want to do is just a real quick announcement. And that is, of course, you probably saw the glimpse here. This was yesterday's daily trading update. Looking for that swing failure pattern of 25,220, which we got and we hit the target. So this is the new daily updates that we're doing. Okay, these are from Igor, which is, of course, a legendary trader and myself. Okay, and you can see from the comments here, from people saying, loving the new daily streams, Daniel and Igor, being a member for 20 months, and this is the best upgrade so far. The new improvement to the CC Chart Champions daily live stream trading updates are going down a tree. You now have daily live streams covering exact trading plans for the day ahead. Trading information given in a short, sweet, concise manner. It is now suitable for even those with very busy lives. Full-time job, doesn't matter. 
you get the updates, you get my biases, you get my what I'm looking at next for the day, okay? So it's great to see people are loving these updates. I personally believe that this is a major upgrade because size trading information to get you ready for all the trades upcoming, okay? And so you can see here, Chart Champions has never been better than it is right now. The new daily updates, the new coaches, everything is really next level. I've not been active in the chat and focused on my own stuff, but this lady got her biggest ever win yesterday and I've understood more and more of how the markets work lately. A lot of thanks to Igor. I also say this, Igor, you're a legend. If you wanna see his daily updates along with mine, then you get this on chartchampions.com. The other coaches newly added, Rivalry and Severin going down a treat as well. You can see brilliant analysis, brilliant levels. And yeah, that was the one announcement that I wanted to make. This is new at daily updates by myself and Igor. If you wanna get them, you know where to get it chartchampions.com. You can see how from yesterday that went very nice indeed. And of course, I've done another daily live stream update this morning, a few hours ago. So if you want to watch that, well, that's also available uh. <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> from, from this morning. Uh, I just will say this while I'm talking about this is, of course, an improvement that we've made, okay? And this is for the best of you, the client watching this, okay? Sometimes in business, we have friends uh, alongside us, but, you know, difficult decisions have got to be made, right? And it's for the best of you. It's for the best of the service. You know, we could just be friends, but we're not here to, you know, be friends. We're here to make you money. We're here to make you a successful trader. We are here to put get you to the next level, okay? Of course, we have a community and that family feel, but the number one goal is not that. The number one goal is to make you profitable. It's to make you money in trading. It's as simple as that. So sometimes difficult decisions have got to be made for the best of yourself watching this. Of course, I love chart champions. I want to see you do well. And to do that, we've made some changes. We've brought in some new people and well, I mean, <laughs> the updates, the trades, the comments speak for themselves. 100% uh, feel way more confident for the day and much more aware of price action. This is literally the first time I'm watching the daily updates every single day. Much respect and appreciation. I mean, the statistics speak for themselves. We can see all that. And yeah, I'm just happy to say, if you want to get that, the new upgrades, the new changes are all live right now on Chart Champions. Of course, last thing that I'll mention is we do also have the trading journal, right? So if you want to get a integrated trading journal into the platform, then you can also get that newly added feature on chartchampions.com now. All the education, your journal, your community, and of course, the updates that we give in the day when our levels are hit. So that was the quick announcement. Now I want to go move on to what I'm looking at next. So of course, I really believe that this is a potential, okay? I, I highlight the word there, potential swing trade, okay? Top of the range, this is a very higher term time frame range as we just zoom out here. Okay, onto a daily chart. We can see this is the top of a, you know, multi-month long range. Really simply swing failure pattern of the multi-month long range. Okay, so from here, there's a few options. Option number one would be we reclaim 25, let's just say 25,300, it's give or take, right? Let's just say if we reclaim 25,300 as support, then we could be looking actually for a very nice move to like $30,000, Okay, so this is resistance until proven otherwise. Okay, this trade, of course, can already have hit take profit one. If we do just pump from here greatly, well, that short is a winning trade, whatever happens next, right? Because we've already had a, you know, a large move to the downside, already a nearly an 8% drop. So if you're not making any money after an 8% drop of short in the exact high, then you're, you're not you're not actually trading very well because you need to be locking in a take profit one at the very least, right? Uh, then if we do pump from here, then we get above 25,300 and hold it as support. We can, yeah, be, be looking towards 26,000, 27,000 zone of resistance. I'm not going to forget that. But a bigger level, right, at $30,000. And then below us, we're going to add on a few zones here of support. So we can see, as I mentioned, 25,200, 25,300, um, you know, bigger resistance, bigger level. NPOC here around 24,700, also a big zone of resistance locally. Uh, and in terms of support, okay, we'll be looking back down towards $23,000. I don't want you to forget that $23,000, nice psychological level, which we can look to take out to the lower NPOC. And so, you know, this is the thing in trading, right? This is the thing in trading. Okay, so you, you come at me right now and we say, Daniel, where's, where's uh, the next trade? Is there a trade setup right now as we're speaking? My answer would be no. It does require patience. It does 
require patience, just like Lee was waiting 185 days for his 25,200 short position. <laughs> um, it's the same one in the intraday perspective. Like right now, I, I personally wouldn't take a trade right now. I wouldn't short because it's an awful risk to reward ratio. And I wouldn't long because it's the same scenario. I'd wait for lower prices to $23,000 or for higher prices to $24,400, right? So I'd wait for either a rise to short or a, a drop to long. And I'd, I'd remain patient, waiting for the bigger levels to come into play and that is what you got to do here okay so it's intraday you wait for higher you wait for your levels to be hit you see the reaction you take the trade there's no hesitation but of course part of trading is well the, the hardest job would be uh well a, 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 a glimpse of it would be you know doing your analysis in the first place of course to do the analysis you have to learn the theory <laughs> you have to understand and educate yourself which of course that's what we do at chart champions we educate you so you can do all of this yourself then once you've done the levels you've marked out your technical analysis it's then remaining patient for those levels to be hit okay we had to remain patient for higher of course i my bull my bias was bullish i was very much very much looking for that level to be taken out if i was wrong well I would have not shorted the high, okay? But I was remaining patient for $25,000. The target's hit, okay? There's no hesitation. That, for me, is a good short trade. And we had a retest of the CC a few hours later to confirm that and a large drop, you know, going into this morning. And so, yeah, it's a simple case of doing the technical analysis, marking out your levels, checking the reaction, taking the trade and executing, right? So this is the thing with the new coaches that we've brought on, you know, we're very good. And we're going to be focused on live trading, getting you up to speed and, you know, getting you what you want, which is to educate yourself and then make you into a profitable trader. That's our goals. That's our wants. We want the best for you watching this. And of course, I want the best for chart champions, which is naturally going to be the best for you, the client. We want to have the best service possible. And, um, you know, we're really, 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 really trying our best and making a lot of difficult but important changes uh, for for the community and for the whole of the service that we offer. So, um, yeah, for me, that's the rundown. That's what the analysis is. That's what I'm looking at. That's how it's played out over the past 24 hours. I am always going to be saying this. I'm agile. I'm able to change from bullish to bearish, bearish to bullish when required in the chart. So it's not just randomly flipping biases, but it will be, for example, I'm bearish right now. But if we come down to support and we get a good reaction, I can take long trades. Or if I was bullish, for example, right now, and we get a move up to resistance, then I can switch to bearish. It's all about my levels. It's all in the charts. It's all about trading the reactions. That's what we do at CC Ball. And this is how we are the most consistently profitable trading community in the world. Seriously, period. It's as simple as that. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say this. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this stream. As I've mentioned before, if you want to get in on those daily updates, if you want to get in on those live streams, then you can do that right now over at chartchampions.com. Education, we're then going over into live trading fields, daily live streams. We got journals, we got all that added extras on now as well. So I'm just going to wrap it up and say that. Thank you ever so much. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that like. Smash the like. Uh, hit the subscribe. Tap the notification bell. All that good stuff that you love to do to support this community. And I'm just going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you once again ever so much. I hope I've educated you, given you some levels, let you know exactly what I'm looking at next, how my current trades are, and, uh, you know, made you ready for what's to come. If you want it in a more concise, like accurate, you know, well, what's the word here that I'm looking for? You know, if you want this information given to you more precisely, then, of course, that's what I give um, in, in the paid uh, mentorship group, right? Uh, so, yeah, thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you over in the Discord. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye, everybody.